My name is Kristen Harris and I'm with Good Morning Mizzou. A dining hall has been giving students food poisoning and today we'll be going around asking students which dining hall they think it is. Of course, none of this is true at all, but they don't know that. There's a dining hall giving out food poisoning? I would say the Mark. I would have to say the Mark too because I worked there last year and I just know it's a hot mess. Not Mark Twain because I lived there last year and it was great. Um, I know it's definitely not Plaza because Plaza is the best. Plaza. Plaza 900. Plaza. Um, I personally think it's Plaza. It was like, this is like little gnats flying around. And so I mean, if it's blood flying around with you cooking, food poisoning may be around that one. Because they're the one that had that uh, that little fly that they had in their food. Last year, Plaza had maggots. Because sometimes I see little bugs, like, there's like little roaches. Not roaches, no, no, not roaches. Like little, just little bugs. Just crawling all around the floor. Though I think that would be bigger, so maybe it would be Dobbs. Because no one goes there. Dobbs. Dobbs is definitely what I would say. Dobbs. Dobbs. <laughs> Dobbs. <laughs> Dobbs. Dobbs. I would say Dobbs. It's, it's kind of dirty. If I have to put my money on it, I would probably say it's Dobbs. I think it's Dobbs. Whoa. My guess would be Dobbs. Dirty I don't Dobbs. know. Dirty Dobbs. <laughs> Everyone calls it Dirty Dobbs. <laughs> the last time I went to Dobbs, it was pretty shady. Dobbs is the nastiest dining hall on camp. I mean, it's to me, it's just dirty. Last time I had some, I think I had spinach or macaroni or something. It was like uh, spider eggs or something like that. You walk in there, it just looked unsanitary. <laughs> That's just me. That's my personal opinion. So I wouldn't be surprised if it was them and then my other friends came across an encounter with them too like last semester so I wouldn't be surprised. I remember eating a Dobbs freshman year and I just didn't think it was always up to the standard that it should have been. Dobbs had um, something in its broccoli on the salad bar last year and it's like their salad bar isn't the freshest so and it's the oldest place so that's why I think Dobbs. I know a lot of people talk about it a lot, like it, it's the greatest place ever, but when I went there, some of the food was like really gross and dried up and I was just not happy, so. Rollins. Probably Rollins. I don't like Rollins very much. I had food poisoning from Rollins a couple years ago, so I'd probably guess that one. I'm always getting like, Ur. I feel fun funky afterwards, I don't know. Mm, Rollins. I don't know, I just, I get the <laughs> up under, oh. <laughs> Just because I don't necessarily um, like the food over there, um, it's not always of great quality, um, in my opinion, but. Uh, like Rollins, because there was like policemen there the other night, wasn't there? Was it really? Baja, if that counts as a dining hall. So by, is that a dining hall? Uh, because those burritos are massive and greasy and sloppy. And I'm trying to think of more adjectives to describe those burritos, but they're terrifying. Um, my sister got food poisoned at Baja. As much as I love Baja and I still eat there whenever I can, um, that was just why I would say it. Um, because I've had some things there that weren't really good. Honestly, it could be any of the dining halls. So as you can see, we got a lot of interesting responses from that question. I just wanted on record that there is no food poisoning. We totally made that up and we have no idea if there have been any food poisoning in dining halls or not. But that's all for today. I'm Kristen Harris and this is Good Morning Mizzou.